Hello guys and welcome back to some more Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last episode we got our first party member, Marley. Again, she is probably the weakest party member in a group. Which is basically my opinion. Apparently, people think she's decent. Anyway, what we want to do here is we're gonna fight this thing right here. They call me Gato. I have mental joys. Beat me up and earn 15 silver points. Yeah, I'm tone deaf. Yeah, this is considered to be our first battle here. What you have here is basically a tag that I completely forgot we actually have this thing on active mode, so we can't actually explain stuff. It's pretty sucky. Oh, come on! Why are you only attacking me? Seriously, I am about to die. I'm about to die! Thank you! Too far to counterattack! And there we go, we actually won our first battle. I got 10 experience points! A tech point! I lost! You won! Here's 50 points! Now wasn't that fun! Yeah, again, I apologize. So anyway, yeah, tech points. I think I should explain this. Basically, t when you go to battle and win, you actually earn tech points. Basically, they range from, like, I think 1 to 100. And you actually need them to actually unlock certain techs. Like this one, Cyclone, which means we need 4, one, four t tech points. And again, like, remember what I said in the last episode where Marley's like the healing type? Well... She's not really there yet, we need like 9 more tech points. Which is a shame, because I'm about to die really quickly. Next, what you want to do, is actually get this cat back to a girl, over there. And trust me, you will want to do this. This is very important that you do so. Unfortunately, you can't just run, because the cat just be like, and get stuck right behind a corner. Like that. Look at it! Look at it just fidget! It fidgets! It fidgets! Anyway. Wow, where's my cat? <sighs> Gotta be kidding me. You got my cat back! Thank you! You're so sweet, Crodo. I promise I will not do that girl voice ever again. I'm like, we'll pause it. It's a Soto Guzzling contest. Press A as fast as you can. And the thing is, I never really got to that chance at all. I've been fast enough that I can actually both all of it down. Like it this, like it. I was able to like five or six cans. I've never been able to do it all. You're awfully competitive, aren't you, Chrono? Yeah, I am. Whatever. So basically, what you're asking, what do I gotta do? What do I have to do here? Well, basically. I don't really know how to explain this, but you can't, you're supposed to go up here, but you can't because they're still setting up, why don't you come back in a while, is basically what they say, but apparently I find it that you have to talk to this woman right here at the fountain, I heard Luca and her dad have made another crazy adventure, hope it doesn't blow up like the others, they ought to be ready right now, make for the far side of the square. This is gonna be fun. Come on, Chrono. Yeah, so basically that woman has the ability to actually make things happen. Apparently. Oh, I also want to just point out one more thing before we go. Um, this guy's lunch right here will actually say this. No time to talk, I'm just sitting down for my lunch. Basically, we, you can eat his lunch, but I advise you not to, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, you want to go up here, but wait, she wants to, she wants some candy. Now, you can either leave, you can actually do that while she's getting that, or you can just stay here because that really helps out later. By the way, 
The reason why I call Marley a Pokemon is basically this. A while back, I actually read like this Chrono Trigger comic and stuff, and well, I don't know how to explain this, but the way she was called off her name Marley is because she sees a Poke. I, I don't remember which one it was, but she sees a Pokemon, and basically she basically calls that, and that's basically how it started or something. And I just completely ignored the text. Thank God. That was very lengthy. Anyway, step right off, any of you who want, who have to, the time to, I cannot talk today, I'm sorry. Step right off, and any of you have time to, and the courage, our super dimensional, super dimension warp is the invention of the century. I cannot speak today, guys. Use it, jump up here, and you'll get teleported here. It's the masterwork of my beautiful daughter, Luca. Yeah. Okay. I just see Luca just having a party up there and stuff. Chrono! Where have you been? No one wants to try the telepod. How about you? It looks like fun! I'll watch while you try it out. Like, totally, and stuff. Just hop onto the pod. I don't want to. Yeah, basically you gotta jump on. All systems on. And, and I like how he's how the activate this thing. He's just pounding away at it with his hammer and stuff. Yeah. Every molecule in my body had just been rearranged. Oh wow, that was great. Now. You can either do that again and have more molecules in your body rearrange, or you can just talk to Marley. And he just slides to the left. Boom. Slide to the right. Boom. Crisscross. Anyway, what a kick. I want to try it too. Huh? Hey, Carl, how do you pick up a cutie like her? Somebody's jealous. Or somebody wants to experiment. If you know what I mean. Anyway. Hang on, Carl. I'll be right there. Behold, ladies and gentlemen, as this vision of loveliness steps aboard the machine. Famous last word. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Famous last words. You're sure about this? There's still time to change your mind. No way. Bro, the switch. Again, famous last words. Okay, everyone, let's give her a great big hand while she reappears. All systems on. We get energy transfer. And there's a mysterious glow coming from her bosoms. What's happening? My pendant. Ellipses. It's. Huh? And her molecules get rearranged and stuff. Luca, where is she? Show's over, folks. Let's head along now. Yeah, let's just basically ignore the fact that we might have accidentally killed this girl. What's going on, Luca? Where is she? The way she disappeared, it couldn't have been the telepod. The, the warp field seemed to be affected by her pendant. What are we going to do now? She's so familiar. I know I've seen her somewhere. Yeah, let's just ignore that we possibly killed her. Colonel, you brought her here. You get her back. Ah! Uh. somebody. Anyway, Chrono, you're actually going to do it. What a fine lad. Actually, no. I was told to do so by your daughter. Listen, I don't know where this machine is going to send you, but we haven't had a choice. Haven't had. A I don't know. 
I'm gonna have to look that back and see if that was a typo or something. Won't they both be lost? This is our only hope. That pendant seems to be the key, so hang on to it, Crow. No, embrace yourself. All systems on. Begin energy transfer. Power to full. Okay. What's up with the mistranslations? More! Give me more power! That's what she said. Roger! There! We did it! You're like a cheesy sci fi movie. More of my molecules get real raid! And I have Starman! I'll follow you after I know what went wrong. Now, I kinda like this part. This whole scene right here kind of reminds me of Doctor Who a little bit. Do 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 like what just happened. And I just realized I have really, really low HP right now, and I'm possibly going to die this part. Oh yeah! I got critical hits. Now, critical hits come once in a while, but there's a weapon for Chrono where he can pretty much... It's a guarantee critical hit, and I am about to die. Now, there's something I gotta explain. That, that little gate right there, Right by the MP. If you ever played Final Fantasy, like before, well, not before, but after, like four, which is basically two in America, you will actually know that's actually the time gauge. In active mode, you actually have a set time limit before you can actually attack again. It's really hard to explain, but anyway, we're in the position. I'm, I'm really going to die here, guys. This is it. Give me some tonic! Wait, I have a tonic. What am I talking about? Wow, I've gone so long that I didn't even realize I have a tonic in my disposal. Oh, and I leveled up too. And I learned Cyclone. So, I've gone so long that I didn't even realize I have a tonic. I completely forgot about that. And we open the strip chest, and I got a tonic. And I got a power glove. It's so bad. Anyway. Oh anyway, wait, I like this. Just kicking that thing around. Yeah, I just keep doing what you do, guys. Alright. I'm in this mysterious place. First we gotta go here. We gotta ask us where we are. I think this is where like a millennium fit. Here? What are you talking about? It's year 600 and the first king of Guardian reigns. So, basically what you just told us now is that we're in 600 AD, which means we went 400 years into the past. Meaning that Marley and Chrono became the first time travelers, so I and he can suck it. So, we just travel with time, guys! Oh look, Chrono's just excited, like, mind blown! And I think I'm gonna end it here. Join us next time. And peace out and stuff.